So the first step in this setup process is to give the monitor an operating range. You need to give the rotation range and the vertical range. So you click advanced and then you go to hardware. So calibrate the rotation motor. Go to the minimum position first using the keyboard arrows save and then go to the maximum position using the keyboard arrows and then save again now repeat this for vertical motor run it to the minimum position and then save run monitor to the maximum position and save again and then repeat one more time for the nozzle go to the minimum position save and then to the maximum position and save again. To calibrate the zones, you go to firmware and you choose the zones software. Then you click the tab zones. Start with a zone, any zone from the drop down menu. Now push power to take control of the monitor from the graphical user interface. Moving the sliders will control the monitor. You use the first set of sliders to set the position, the center position of the oscillation, and the second set of sliders to set the oscillating range around that center position. This setup procedure is now repeated for each zone. So for each zone, you set the center, uh, vertical center, the rotation center, and the oscillation for vertical and ro rotation respectively. You do not have to save any of the settings in between the zones. So you have to set up the positions for each zone separately, choose the zone, and uh, set the uh, center rotation and set the center of the vertical movement and then set the oscillation range for the rotation and the vertical movement separately. You go through this for all eight zones in your system. You can click test to verify the position and the oscillation range of each zone. So after you've selected uh, the desired position and the oscillation for each zone, you should press save to node conf. And then you click compile. And then finally flash. And now the oscillation patterns are ready to be activated from the Targas terminal socket, the digital inputs.